when they they have a dinner every time and they do that you can do something so when they decide to do it observing the uh, uh, how in this case here we're troubleshooting the light switch. What you have in the ceiling is the ceiling itself which is supported by this this grid structure which is called T-bar because it's actually shaped like You're the only one without the t-shirt. <laughs> I, 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 I brought a sticker actually. <laughs> here the, the union gave this stuff for you guys. Oh. Um, Yay. Sorry, I had to go to the doctor first. But. Are we officially union members now? Yeah, you're officially. Now, every time you go to a union event, you gotta wear your union hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exercising, and if we have a mental issue, 
We're not asking for help. Just on behalf of the organization, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for what you're doing that I have no concept of. <laughs> and uh, we really appreciate you so much. So hopefully during this time here, you're able to see that, hey, these programs um, are, are all about the young people. And that's why Ms. Williams has been here for many years <laughs> and myself, uh, because we want to continue to improve our programs because they're so vitally needed. Uh, with that, I do want to introduce our executive director, um, who uh, really built this facility from the ground up. And um, the great thing about it is she does it with a smile on her face. But there's times when I know, because we meet in her office, she's like, I don't know what we're going to do about this, this, and that. And she says to herself, in that moment, you know what? It's worked out before, it's going to work again. She's a very faithful person, very committed. And I'm so fortunate that I've known her for 41 years of my life because she happens, she happens to be my mother. <laughs> Thank you. you guys got lucky today and you heard his version. That's only because I'm getting a cold and I'm not, I can't be long winded. But I'm not an attorney, but I'm very long winded. <laughs> But thank you so much. First, thank you, Mr. Banks. He's just, as Kevin has told you, just been wonderful for our agency. Just so wonderful. And like I said, he is so much more than a trainer. He inspires our youngsters. I mean, the program that he put them through, it was very, very difficult. And he had our most difficult kids that was not used to sticking to anything. They were coming in here being happy because they were coming to class and they'd tell you, oh, we're here because Mr. Banks love us. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much from the bottom of my heart that you're here today and so much that you see in this building because it's maintained so well, it has been through volunteers. And I can say to you, because I am the ED, it's because we receive blessings from above. Absolutely. And it's just been wonderful. What we need has just come to us. Mm -hmm. And it's certainly not because of my power. It's because of higher powers. But the most thing we're pleased with, we had so, so many success stories. So, so many. I see kids every day that come through. I saw a young lady that was here that started in my preschool. Wow. And I was like, oh my God, how are you doing? She said, great. I said, you look wonderful. I said, how old are you now? She said, 24. I was like, <laughs> that's not possible. So to end it all, um, just thank you so much. And I hope before you leave, you leave us your expertise, your name, and your number so we can add you to our permanent volunteer list. Hey. I don't ever let people go without asking for something else. <laughs> Thank you very much. So we want to spend a couple of minutes. I want to bring Uncle Adam Banks up and he just want to we want to honor the legacy of Dr. King. To, to, to close it out, we want to have Mr. Banks come up and, and just give a little bit of what he feels or his inspiration of, of Dr. Martin Luther King. Adam Max. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. I think that when we think of this day, all we have to do is look around this table because what he was about was service. Be a little bit, look around, see what's happening. You don't think things are better than they were 10 years ago, 5 years ago. Just look around and see the, the different things. The first thing we can look at is in America where they said there would never be a black president. I said that, and I'm black. Right? <laughs> Not merely for the hateful words and actions of bad people, but for the appalling silence of good people. You get that, right? You sitting around not saying nothing, not opening your mouth, letting everybody run your mouth. And I think that happens too much in America. If you don't say anything, you don't have to go out and stand on the soup box, but you can say it to your neighbor, you can say it to your friend. 
If you side with Dr. Raymond Twain, you're just as guilty or more guilty than the person who is the paper. Valedictorian of the custodial training class. Yeah. Right. This young man never missed one minute of class, never got anything other than 100% on every test. And a week after the class, he was hired by the Berkeley Unified School District. All right. And he All right. two jobs, and this is a fine young man here, Mr. Spin. So, thank you for coming out. Thank you for all of uh, the organizations that came out. We are the Banks Enterprise Coopoly. Coopoly is the opposite of monopoly. You know, monopoly, you try to go around taking everybody's money. In a coopoly, we go around sharing money. We go around sharing corn. We share, we barter, we trade. We, you know, we fix each other. A house breakdown, we're gonna be over your house tomorrow, paying your house, we're gonna help you. you no, know, nobody's gonna fall through the cracks in the coopoly. So if you have any questions, we can talk later. But again, thanks for everybody for coming out. Thanks for all the film, film crew. <laughs> <laughs>